Whenever your vehicle is at a stop or idling, you're basically getting zero fuel economy. That's why Kia developed the Idle Stop and Go, or ISG system, which automatically shuts down the engine when the vehicle is at a standstill. In this video, we will show you how to stop the engine in idle stop mode and how to restart the engine from idle stop mode. It couldn't be simpler. Let's take a look. Say you're coming to a stoplight or you're stuck in a traffic jam by simply pressing the brake pedal and bringing the vehicle to a complete stop, the engine will automatically stop. The green auto stop indicator light will either illuminate it in the instrument panel or the words auto stop will appear on the IP's LCD display, depending on which type of instrument cluster is equipped on your Kia. When you're ready to go again, simply release the brake pedal. The engine will start up again and the auto stop indicator will go out. Increasing your fuel economy couldn't be any easier than that. Remember, the driver's seatbelt has to be fastened, and the driver's door and engine hood have to be shut in order for the system to operate. Under some conditions, the ISG will not function and the engine will not stop when the vehicle has not reached a minimum speed of 5 miles per hour before stopping. The AC blower is set at the highest speed when the vehicle is on a grade, over 12% uphill or over 5% downhill, or when the steering wheel is turned more than 180 degrees. These features are included for safety reasons. If you want to deactivate the ISG system, you can press the ISG off button here. Press it again and the system is activated. Kia vehicles equipped with the idle stop and go system increase your fuel economy and can help you save cash at the gas pump. And these days, getting more out of every gallon goes a long way. To help you get better acquainted with these and other features, always check your owner's manual for complete operating information and safety warnings. 